Welcome to another video of the series The Effective Professional 101 where we will discuss the tips and techniques required to make you an effective professional. In this video, we'll talk about the effective body language at the workplace. When you're at the workplace, how should your body language be? Now, here's the thing. Not all of your colleagues are talking to you all of the time, but they are looking at you almost all of the time when they're you're, you're getting up, you're sitting down, you're walking, you're standing, you're talking to them, you're talking to somebody else, you're working on your desk. You are in plain sight of your colleagues. And hence, it is essential that to convey the right message, you need to have the right body language. The first one, how do you stand? Now, especially for men, if there is a crease between your shoulders and your chest, you would look as if you're not confident. So look at me right now versus right now. Do I look more confident when I am not having a crease between my chest and shoulders? That's right. And look at me again when I'm having a crease between my chest and shoulders. I don't look as confident. So number one, especially for men, do not have a crease between your shoulders, your shoulders and your chest. Even for women, when you're standing erect, make sure that your back is all the way to the front. When you have your back all the way to the front, it improves your posture, it makes you look slightly taller, and it makes you look more confident. So this is my standing technique for both men and women at the workplace. Number two, how do you sit? So when you're sitting on your chair, now if you see, most chairs at the workplace will have this function where your backrest can be loosened to go all the way behind or you can lock your backrest so that it keeps your body erect. I recommend that while you're working, you lock your backrest so that your body remains erect. That helps in two ways. Number one, it helps improve your posture. When you loosen your backrest and you're working on your laptop, you will end up slouching like that. But if you have your backrest straight and you put your back all the way on it and push yourself inside to your desk and you're working, your posture is going to be something like this. This posture is required for you to be healthier. Number two, when somebody looks at you working in a posture like that, it does not look as effective as it does when you're working like that. When you're working like this, it makes you look more active and confident as compared to when you're working like this, where it makes you look more tired. So when you're sitting, lock your back rest. Number three, when you're walking. So when you're walking, I recommend that you either walk slightly faster or you walk slightly slower with longer strides. So if you're walking slightly faster, it makes you look that you're busy and you're being more productive. You're, you're avoiding wastage of any time. If you want to convey that you're not wasting any time, try to walk faster. If you walk slightly slower with larger strides, that will convey the message that you are more powerful. So you would see only powerful people walk slowly with larger strides. So if you walk slightly slower than your usual speed with larger strides, it will make you look more confident. And finally, when you're talking to a colleague, how do you know if that colleague is really interested in talking to you or not? Would you like to know that? Now here's the trick. They might be looking at you. Everybody's looking at you when they're talking to you. However, notice where their feet and their body is pointing. So if somebody does not want to talk to you, they will talk to you somewhat like this. Their body and their feet will be pointing in some other direction while they're talking to you. That is a signal to you to know that, all right, this person doesn't want to talk to me anymore. So next time when you're talking to a colleague, look at the way they are talking to you. And similarly, when you are talking to somebody, ensure that your complete body is facing towards them. Sometimes we don't realize subconsciously, our body starts facing somewhere else when we don't want to talk to a colleague. And that makes them subconsciously think that we are not interested in the conversation. So next time, if you want to find out who is not interested in talking to you, just look at their body and their feet. At the same time, when you're talking to somebody, make sure that your complete body faces them. This was our final and fifth video in uh, the series The Effective Professional 101. What other series do you want me to make for you to, to help you be a more effective person? Let me know in the comment section below. If you use any of these techniques that I've taught in the last five videos in this series, let me know how those techniques helped you. Comment below. I'd, I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to hear from you on what topics would you like me to create more videos. I'll see you in the next video.